Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Here I have uh, another important lecture about musculoskeletal injuries in the uh, ultrasound tech. Unfortunately, over 80 to 90 percent of the ultrasound tech that has working for many years, five years at least, they had uh, some kind of musculoskeletal disorder and injury, some kind of the pain and uh, among them 20 percent is severe and it cause they quit their job and their career and is sad and uh, fortunately all of them are almost preventable if we just uh, follow some rules in another word those uh, injury that uh, ultrasound tech uh, get during scanning is related to the position of scanning and handling of the probe. I try to get all more practical details that can help you prevent uh, from those uh, damage. As you can see, shoulder and neck uh, are the most common, uh, shoulder, neck and wrist are the most common uh, places for musculoskeletal injury in ultrasound tech but it can uh, involve anywhere from the eye that i'm going to explain later up to the toes all those structure and musculoskeletal part can damage at top of them is uh, frozen shoulder neck syndrome and carpal tunnel syndrome and after that back now let's uh, see how we can prevent those uh, damage as a general rule, uh, the normal and correct position doesn't matter standing, sitting, or any situation and position is we call neutral position. For standing, uh, the correct standing position uh, is almost at attend attending uh, soldier position, means chest uh, out and shoulder back belly in, chin a little up, and straight forward. The line that uh, the correct is that the line pass through to your ear, shoulder, and hip, and go to the middle of the foot. That is the correct position. For checking your position, standing position, you can stand back to the wall a few uh, centimeters far from the wall, and extend uh, chest out and shoulder back the way that your head back of your head uh, flat part of the shoulder scapula and uh, buttock contact the wall in that situation you know that position is correct any other uh, situation like this head is forward chest a little forward uh, uh, buttock is not contact or opposite way or just curving all of them are wrong for the beginning it will be a little hard and kind of the stress and strain on your body but little by little if you remind remember remind yourself and remember fix and correct your position practice on at home and anywhere that you have time uh, this position your body get used to that position in less than few months and that is the most important part. In those situations that you are going to scan for long time standing, you can use a long high chair and some put some your weight over the chair and use a stool or a step or part of the step of the machine and uh, change between those legs every five to ten minutes if you are going to stand for 20 minutes 30 minutes uh, change your foot uh, every five minutes that will be the best position for standing and standing uh, scanning uh, for uh, scanning on standing uh, try adjust the bed of patient as much as uh, you are comfortable and you keep your neutral position 
and uh, the most important remind yourself every few minutes that and ask if your position is correct or not maybe you ask okay what about the other uh, side we when you scan for example lower extremity or carotid or all those uh, spot or right in abdomen for spleen we have to bend to the left right whatever it is yes you are right but that is the reason all my students they learn and i force them from the first week they uh, hold probe in their hand they practice with both hands left and right and in less than one month they become by manual uh, scanner and ultrasound so that is not a hard task to learn it and i am surprised why the our education system many places and college they don't teach uh, students scan with both hands if you learn is a piece of cake you go right side with right hand <coughs> left side with left hand and i just just moved your machine the other side in that case i can guarantee you 50 percent of your musculoskeletal damage has been prevented just by this practice if you are already a scanner and working you are a sonographer and working for still is not late you can learn again just a practicing a few times or 10 times 20 times your hand and your mind become coordinated very easy and fast for scanning on seating uh, first we have to have good chair fortunately we have ergonomic uh, chair has been made for the ultrasound tech has uh, many character and feature that we can adjust all of them make the neutral position for seating a neutral and correct position for seating scanning is that our uh, vertebra and line of the neck to the hip with the tie make it almost 90 to 100 degree tie and knee, uh, your knee angle is 90 to 110 degree our leg doesn't contact to the uh, sitting uh, side edge our eyes is almost at the level of top of the monitor as you can see here from the back and we have a uh, handle at the side that we can anchor our elbow over those uh, handles and our arm shouldn't be abduct more than 20 to 30 degree 20 degree is better for using uh, ergonomic chair in echo we can use the regular like this or this way of uh, reverse uh, seating and scan whatever you are more comfortable and you can keep that position correctly if it's that front or back any of those will be correct as long as you hold your position correctly so any other position will be 100 person wrong for example in uh, scanning in echo right hand it doesn't matter even you standing uh, uh, you do uh, standing from right side plaques maybe you can hold your position uh, neutral but for apical window 100 percent you have to bend a little to the side and your wrist will be flexion a lot so uh, i don't recommend you practice right hand echo on, uh, but i recommend you learn uh, right hand in some situation that you can do a scanning right hand not always not always with right hand left hand technique is much better and safer here too much abduction uh, that is wrong uh, for the scanning carotid or suprasternal notch or abdomen for ivc or anything put raise your chair up until your abduction become less than 20 degree as here rise it fortunately this goes high enough and never scan like that and if you need it your chair doesn't work that time stand up and scan those area that you need or twisting this take is your body her body is completely off twisting neck shoulder goes beyond 
and angle of the elbow is more than 100 degree or actually less than uh, 60 degree. It should be almost 90 to 100 degree angle of the uh, elbow and abduction is pressure too much. Once a while, maybe you do it this way, but not always. Don't do uh, this uh, way scanning. If you are right-handed and it's very late and is almost impossible for you to learn with the left hand scanning, doesn't matter for the vascular or for any other type of study echo, you can set up uh, this way in for echo you scan with right hand very easy or for the other side of the body you can set up machine this way but still you need practice a little orientation of the, your hand brain and imaging and maneuver it need a little uh, week to get uh, used to the new position and orientation but still my strong recommendation is that learn by manual uh, scanning. There are two techniques for holding probe. One of them is fisting or palmar grip. Here you can see it doesn't matter right hand or left hand. And another is pencil technique or pinching technique. Pencil is better word. The uh, palmar grip uh, is not bad for the echo and for abdomen, but for vascular study, especially carotid, is almost pointless. The uh, pencil technique that I recommend uh, is my preference uh, is much better for many reasons. Uh, first of all, you can hold uh, and keep and control the pressure that you apply to the body, especially neck and uh, chest, with the finger, and you anchor with those other fingers and hypotenor on the chest. So the only pressure you apply to the body is only with your finger. So you don't push too much on the patient, especially on neck, that's very important, and chest too, most of the cardiac patient they are on the blood thinner. If you use this technique, even you can use your hypotenor as controlling pressure, but still you can lose the sense of how much you are press, press, pressing on the body. Whatever you are comfortable, uh, you can use any of those. Uh, but as I say, uh, my preference is pencil technique. Whichever you use, the most important is one thing. You have to hold your wrist in neutral position. Neutral position means not flexion, not an extension, not to the side, left, right, and you don't feel tension on the wrist and shoulder and elbow. That is the most important uh, principle for prevention of the all kind of the carpal tunnel syndrome, ulnar syndrome, tunnel syndrome, and so on. Uh, and try practice in uh, withholding, don't press too much. I notice especially those beginner, because they are focusing on the monitor and getting picture, they press uh, too much and holding probe too much strong, and at the night they feel their wrist and elbow and uh, forearm is a little sore. So try to tell yourself, hold it just steady. That's it. In echo, for uh, apical window, we use uh, this way, uh, five finger, and we used a knuckle for the holding and keep steady our image because in echo holding image steady is very important. So with the knuckle on our knuckle, both finger, thumb and index knuckle, we can hold steady and with other finger and uh, those uh, thumb, you can maneuver up and down or uh, twisting. For uh, plaques, and subcostal and supraesternal notch, 
we hold the probe and maneuver this way. And in that case, your hypotenar and here knuckle anchor over the body of the patient. So you control how much press, uh, apply pressure, and you keep your image and view steady. And as you can see, your wrist always should be at the neutral position. As I mentioned, your eyes should be almost at the level top of the monitor, uh, so don't sit the low chair, chair and the monitor high. At the same level top and your eyes, and the f distance between the eyes and the monitor uh, around uh, 50 to 80 centimeter, that will be perfect. The uh, location of the control panel monitor and patient should be something uh, and uh, your right hand and left hand something at the center of those two hand will be much better so you don't need too much twist your head when you're watching patient or monitor or control panel uh, for the, those beginner using accessory tools and equipment like the pad cushion or supporter of the uh, ultrasound uh, cable uh, it is not bad idea until you get used to the those situation position and correct position and maneuver. But as is up to you when if you feel less tension on your body and muscles, use them. Another important factor that uh, has a lot of role in prevention of those. Uh, damage related to our job is exercise. There are some exercises that help uh, decrease those tension and uh, empower our muscle that involve during our scanning. My recommendation to you is this. Every time you have time, even one minute, five minutes, on the break, or no, at least when you go back home after taking shower or before, whatever, try to do this exercise. They take together less than 10 minutes. Every day, practice and exercise those. And I promise you, with following those rules and this exercise and keeping your mind and practice, uh, almost you will never will have any of those uh, musculoskeletal damage related to the, your job. Pause it, you read it and practice, and we are done. Please, this is important for all your colleagues, friends, and everybody. Try to share and give them uh, this uh, clip and they watch it. Up to the next time. Have a wonderful time.